Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we're going to be finishing up the, the set that we've been working on and paint Barris. Barris Ofri, I think is her last name, from uh, Mar not Marvel, <laughs> from uh, Star Wars Shatterpoint. So first we're going to start off with her flesh. And there's a kitten in my room eating a box. That's cool. Uh, originally, I thought it was like her skin was yellow, but it, I looked it up online and it is green. Hello! Oh, hi! Um, so we're going to start with Plague Bearer Flesh, just like we did with her master. Hi, hi, buddy. Hello. You, you're very cute. I understand. Okay, bye. This little kitten was trying to be part of the video. Um... So let's get her skin painted. They are both of the same race, so I didn't realize that. She does have um, some like tattoos on her face, like across her nose. So that's gonna be a little challenge when we get in there. Uh, and a lot of it is blocked by the light, the lightsaber, but. Continuing our promise, we're going to try and do better. So we'll try to get it. So let's get her face all painted there. And that is it for the skin on her. Now we're going to go to uh, just some Gorgata fur on the belt and like the ribbed part of her shirt. I don't want to put too much there. Um, trying to look at the the concept, not the concept, the example of, on the box for kind of how to paint her. Um, and I'm just going to kind of borrow a lot from what we did on the last character that we did because they kind of dress the same, just with a little different flare to it. So let's do the chest piece there and her belt. And that's kind of, and that's it for the, um, contrast paints for this one because she is mostly going to be regular paint. And before we get too far into it, get ahead of ourselves, we're just going to do gunmetal just to get the, the hilt of the lightsaber while we're here. It's the smallest part. Doggy is barking. We're just going to get some little bit here just so that we can, when we need to do the wash and everything, We'll just be able to put it on everything and not have to go back with it later. <sighs> now we're gonna get into the main cloak and that is leather brown. Uh, if you wanted to, you could go darker. I would probably recommend going darker like with a whole red. Um, but since I did the other one in this color, in leather brown, we're gonna do this one in leather brown also just so they match. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, if I could do this all over again, I would recommend the whole red color because it is a darker, um, brown than we originally used. So it would look probably a little bit better, uh, in the long run. So, got our paint and we're going to get pretty much this whole thing. So, just thin your paint. Try to go only in one direction with the brush strokes so that you're not streaking it 
in multiple directions if you are streaking it so it's kind of consistent throughout. Now her, uni her uniform is definitely less ornate than her master's, but still, got, oh, it's got a lot of detail on it just with all the folds. So we'll have to pay attention to those a little bit when we start highlighting and going through all that stuff. But for now, just for this base coat, you don't have to worry too much about it. You just want a nice smooth coat of paint on the model. One thing about this character is I'm gonna get into some some lore, I guess, for Star Wars. Uh, if you if you haven't watched the Clone Wars and you are going to watch it, some spoiler alerts here. Um, but she, she's a bit of a bookworm, which is cool. You're like, oh, cool. She's like really like skilled and, and learned. But unfortunately, the book learning <laughs> kind of turned her into a bit of a, I want to say zealot. Um, and she uh, blew up the... She bombed the Jedi Temple during the Clone Wars and framed Ahsoka for it, causing, you know, the whole Ahsoka leaving the Jedi Order thing because a lot of people didn't believe her that it was someone else. Anakin did believe her and he ended up stopping Barriss. Um, yeah, so she's not necessarily... She she did it because she felt the Jedi were weak and they weren't doing what was needed to win the war kind of thing. So she's not a Sith. She was just kind of like an extremist, I guess, in the sense of wanting to be more swift and decisive with the way that they were running the war. I mean, that could be understandable, I guess. But framing Ahsoka for it is a little crazy. Um, and then, kind of while we're on the topic of the Clone Wars and what happens to these guys and stuff afterwards, so her master, <laughs> is in Star Wars Rebels and <laughs> not in a good way either. They kind of have, these guys kind of have a bad, bad fates, I guess, in the grand scheme of things is that they use her master's corpse to kind of lure Jedis into them and kind of trap them. So they're using like her, her skeleton to kind of I don't know, it's like a beacon to other Jedi. Super messed up. But that's Star Wars Rebels. <laughs> um, I think she has like a little bangle on her arm, just like we did for the other one. So we're gonna do the same thing with this bright gold. My throat's a little scratchy. Okay. Now we can go to our black gray for her kind of undersuit.
And we're gonna do something a little different with her too, like with her undersuit than we did with Luminara. So, I'm just gonna, first of all, let's get it nice and kind of blocked in there. You don't have to go all the way to the edge there because the black wash will kind of clean it up for us a bit. Just make sure we get all the visible bits here. As well as her heels. can't really see this one it's just down here but we'll get it anyway okay now for her cloak it's a little I don't know if it's quite purple or blue um, but we're gonna go with a dark kind of, uh, maybe we'll do like a purple with a blue wash that might help get it uh, but we need a dark purple. It's pretty dark. So I'm gonna look at my colors here. I don't really seem to have dark, dark purples. Um, and blues do not go on super great. So we're just gonna kind of have to go for it. We're gonna take this blue violet. It's kind of it's a mix of blue and purple. So I mean, purple is blue and red combined. But you get what I'm saying. Um, and we will start coating this. And then we can darken it with the washes and stuff. Even some contrast paint over the top if we have to. So get the purple going because definitely this is like way too purple right now because even like looking at the the art here I'll show you you can see it's like kind of purple but also kind of blue but is that like a reflection that they're doing from this also is it just a dark gray there's lots of different pictures, right? Because there's live action, there's Rebels, not Rebels, there's um, Clone Wars versions, right? And then like there's the, the cartoon Clone Wars and the 3D animated ones. So, you know, you got some options. And again, you don't have to ever paint them how they are in the movie. You can paint however you want. If you want to paint them some totally different scheme that's told that's fine like if you wanted to paint her like a sith and just go like with a black scheme or if you wanted to paint her like i don't know like an endor trooper you could do that too no one's stopping you the only thing stopping you from doing that is you so that's what you want to do go for it and personally like I do like these like neon really bright vibrant colors um, so you know it's not the end of the world if we can't darken it enough for me anyway because at least it's kind of fun it's different This paint does have a 
habit of going on kind of thin, so just making sure you get the coating in the areas that you need it is pretty important because there will be like white spots if you miss. Uh, and I learned that from my Night Haunt army because this is one of the primary colors of my Night Haunt. My Skeletor paint scheme. So that should just about do it for the base coat there. And now we've got to do some detail here. So her cloak has a lot of little dots and stuff on it. Um, so to do that, we're gonna get a sponge and kind of sponge on the dots. So it'll be kind of random. There'll be different sizes. Uh, hopefully it won't destroy the model. <laughs> so uh, I have some sponges here that I bought specifically to kind of tear apart and use for, oops, for this kind of purpose. If I can find them. And you're like, you knew what you were gonna use them. Why didn't you prep it? No. Get off my back. <laughs> um, I had it up here for like the longest time and then I moved it. Ah! And then now that I moved it, I can't find it. And um there go. I found it. I found it! Nobody panicked. This was like Daiso and bought like these little sponges so you can see like there's different ones there's like a tight pattern a thick pattern and like this kind of pattern so it's just like a good kind of using you just kind of tear off a little piece of it and put it away so what we're going to use for the color we're probably going to use this prussian blue it's a nice dark blue but i think it should work pretty nice to give it a good shake and we're also going to get our little tweezers here little hobby tweezers so we don't have to touch it and this might be a little too big of a sponge so let's make it a little bit smaller here and just grab it kind of bunch it together on your thing and just dip it in your paint Do some wiping here and then we'll just kind of dot it onto the cape here it does kind of glob which isn't great we could smooth it out later. Like I said, though, it might be too big of a piece of foam, so we can get even smaller still. And we're just gonna kind of barely put it in there because we don't want it to clump on the sponge. You just want it to be on the sponge, kind of like that. And we're just going to keep going at it till we're satisfied with the dispersion of dots here. I guess you could even take it and kind of um, splash it on with like a like another brush and just kind of fan it onto the the model. That would probably work as well.
but this is working and it's not not working. So it's doing kind of what we want. And sometimes that's all we can really ask for. And we had an idea, we tried it out and it kind of worked. So there, she's got a lot of the kind of specks on there. There's a lot of really small ones and big ones. It's kind of varying in sizes. And if there's any areas that are like maybe too much on, we can always take our purple back and then go over it just to kind of clean that up a little bit. Like right here, like there's a spot that's like a lot on there. So we just maybe just go like that and just break it into a smaller piece. Same thing here, here. You'd probably even take, instead of a sponge, just like a like a blown out brush that you have from doing stuff, like, like even this one, like look at this one, it's pretty crazy, right? And then just do the same thing, just get paint on it, get dab it off a little bit, and then just kinda move it around and push it into your model. And it'll give you some more variation of shapes. So yeah, there's just some, a few ideas there for you. And now, we're gonna ruin the whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take our we're gonna let that dry. While that's drying, we'll take our black wash and we'll go over the browns. So let's take this and then because we're just like like on the last model, we're just darkening up the brown. Try to keep it going into one direction there so it's not pooling or streaking weirdly. Pooling is fine, like in these cracks, especially, because that's going to help us with our kind of variation there. So we can kind of go heavy in there. Kind of pull it toward the way that the wind is going here. And then we can get just a little bit and go on here. Here. And get the belt, it's fine. Get this arm piece. And this arm piece here. And the lightsaber. So that'll be that. Now we'll let all of that kind of dry. And while all that's going, we can finish off the face as best we can with our Plague Bear Flesh and some white, some of our matte white paint mixed together to give us our highlight color. And we're gonna use that smaller brush that we do. So just take some on your brush, get some of that white paint in there. And don't mix it into brown like I just did. So quick and easy, really quick here, we can get the fingers. And the forehead. The nose. You can't really see them in here, but we'll get the chin. So 
that's just going to brighten her face up a little bit for us. And then we'll take the white that we have and go in with our magnifying glasses and get those eyes. So we're going to take that white that we already put down. Get our brush nice and pointy and ready for it. And then I have to pour this away really quick. Pardon my Pardon that. So we'll get the white on the eyes here. Okay. And then while I still have it, I can pull this green and fix weird spots that we got. Cool, cool, cool. I think her eyes are blue, so we can take that Prussian blue that we put down for the dots in the cloak and just kind of use it to, it's like poetry, it rhymes. Um, little George Lucas joke, if you know. Um, so just to kind of carry that color within her, her face as well. So we're just gonna take our little small brush here and then we're gonna try to dot an eyeball. We got one, we got an eyeball. Don't know if you guys will be able to see it. We got one eyeball in there. And then we're gonna try to get the other one. And we got it. We did. We did. So now she's got two eyeballs basically looking in the same direction so she doesn't look cross-eyed, which is always a good thing. Um, you probably can't see it, which is, you know, not super great, but you can, you can kind of maybe see with the eyes that they look not terrible <laughs> hopefully um so now we're gonna wash our cape here with this drakenhof nightshade this is a blue wash um and that's gonna help kind of darken it a lot and and bring it towards blue a little bit as well hopefully it's the plan anyway um so i'm just gonna take it It's always interesting to you to do this kind of stuff because it's I've never put a blue wash on a purple before. Let's see what happens. So just that more experimenting and trying stuff out that's going to keep you growing as an artist and as a painter for miniatures. And that's kind of what it's all about at the end of the day. Well, at the end of the day, it's about having fun. You don't have to grow if you don't want to. Um, you could be, you can stay perfectly happy wherever you are. But if you want to grow, doing little weird experiments every now and then can't hurt you. In your worst case scenario, you just reprime the model and paint over it. So, nothing you do here is permanent. So that is going to get her cape all nice and done. brush there. Now we're gonna go back to our leather brown because now that that wash has had time to dry and we're gonna kind of just bring up the the colors a little bit just kind of reapply some brown on some areas 
because if we look at Luminara, if I can grab her, there she is. We have some variation, not too much. Um, maybe I didn't put the brown back on her after, but we're gonna do it on this one. <laughs> and you can keep it thin, just kind of put some water on your brush and kind of thin it out and attack your model back. So we know that kind of how the light is, we can basically put color back here. And then move kind of into these raised areas back with the original brown. Same thing here. We've got her leg being very high up. Back here, it's not as much, especially you now that we have the light here. You can see where the shadows are on the model. And we can go back into her arm a little bit here. Now we can dull it even further just by mixing in some white with that leather brown to get our highlight color. So this is like creating our, the, the dark tone was created with the wash over the leather brown. The mid tone is just the color again and then this is gonna be our highlight with just some white added to the color, so. We can go here. We're also gonna go smaller brush. So that we can get these edges here. And you just kind of use the edge of your brush to pull those edges through. And just get them in the areas that kind of make sense. Um, they don't have to make complete sense, they just have to make sense to you, so, you know, we're not lighting experts here, we're not, you can even feather it out with your finger, that kind of helps a little bit on some things, get the edge. Get in there. Okay, so that's gonna add some variation there. And now, let's take some of that Prussian blue that we had earlier and mix it with some white to get the highlight for the cape. So, 
it's gonna it's gonna match better with her blue lightsaber anyway that the highlight is blue you don't have to it doesn't have to be a solid highlight throughout the whole thing you can definitely break it up if you want to so it's just get that all nice and highlighted If it's not falling off your brush, that means your brush isn't wet enough. Okay, now I did promise that she had things on her face, so we're gonna get some of this black gray back again and try to dot around her nose area. Kind of goes around her, her nose, like across her nose and under her eyes a bit. And they're just little dots. Oh, well, they're diamonds, but on this scale, I don't think we can do diamonds very well so and also we'll try to get her eyebrows as well while we're here so and i just broke her off her stand that's cool it's perfect perfect what i needed right now so i have to hold her by my hand this to Luminara yesterday too. I broke her off first hand because they have these little feet that aren't very stable. Sorry that it's out of view for so long. I'm just Having trouble focusing on the parts with my glasses right now for some reason. <clears throat> we can take her face is a little messed up too, so give me one second while I fix that. just clean up that section up there. Okay. So we have dotted around her eyes a little bit and cleaned up her face also. Um, don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera 
but it's there, I promise. Uh, <laughs> while we're here, while we have this kind of easy to paint, let's just take our medium sea gray that we use for our basing just, and get that this um, base coated really quick while it's here. And then I can, well, I gotta figure out where her feet were. So there's definitely was one there. I think it was, she like this, this and that. And I don't think she was that far ahead. I think she was like this here and that there. That makes more sense. So let's just kind of lightly go over this with our gray. Using, I use plastic glue to glue them on, but like the the surfaces are so um, small that are touching this, it probably just didn't have enough grip to get through it. So it's okay. The other guys seem pretty good. It's just I'm mostly having trouble with the the female characters just because they all have high heels on or they're just I mean it's, it's also like the problem of dynamic posing this is that everything is kind of unstable kind of annoying if I'm being honest I mean these ones aren't so bad like you know, there's not like a million tactical rocks everywhere and stuff like that, but I can see it getting complicated. So let's clean that brush off and we'll get some super glue this time. And then we'll see if we can actually get it to come out and not stab myself as I put a hole in the top of the super glue. Please don't stab me. Air. I heard air. This is probably riveting for you guys, right? You're like, it was crazy. <laughs> Guy again, just going off on tangents. At least I'm not yelling at my animals or dealing with other things right now. It's, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good. All right. So, so yeah, you can see like. That's all that was touching. Just a couple heels, maybe the part right here. But that was probably means that she wasn't standing straight. Come on, glue. It's like I see it in there. It's just taking its sweet time. Oh, I saw it. Come on. And we don't want it to explode out, because that would suck. <sighs> Let's just set her down while we squeeze this, shall we? So we don't ruin our day. Come on. Sorry, guys. Sometimes this stuff happens. And we gotta roll with it. Just gotta find the hole that I put in here so that I could cool, 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 cool. tight, tight, tight. Aha, I got it. All right, now make sure your hands are clean. You don't want glue on your fingers while you're doing this. So we got some glue here. God, it's like hardening right away. And it's never done that before. And of course, when I need it is when it's having the problem. I need to get some new super glue, I guess. Time. 
Oh, and I put her down? Okay, good. I thought she glued to the table now. I was like, and I put her down on her feet that had a little bit of glue on it. Okay. So now we got some glue. For reals this time. It is, why is it like that? I don't know. Um, and then we find where we had her foot before, which looks like it was about here. And we'll just try to keep her centered on the base as much as possible so that she can be glued on. And I know this isn't probably very centered, but it is what it is. We might need, might need a little more glue. They need um, safety pins like that, but that are also, oh, yeah, this is the thing too, is we have paint down, so kind of sucks, but what can you do? Um, oh, is that was what that shape was. Um, you need safety pins with like filing uh, ridges and stuff on the sides of them so that you could file with them as you're wiping off your mistakes. Um, so now we're going to take our Prussian blue uh, color again and just put that in as our dark base coat of our lightsaber. And hopefully we don't just destroy this off the base while we do this. Let's try to have like a light touch with it. Her lightsaber is blue, but again, you don't gotta paint it blue if you don't want to. Okay, and then we will take Toxic Mist as our light color. And then we will now put this in here. While it's all still wet. And then we will take just pure white now and go in for the kill. There, and then we'll start at the middle for the white. Just kind of. And there we go. I think I got some on her, her thing right there, that little white spot. So we'll have to clean that up really quick with some of the blue violet. And just kind of, actually we can take that Prussian blue and the white instead. And just, um, Do like a little edge highlight poke there instead of getting too crazy with it. You can just go right there and it's not white anymore. And that is how we're painting Barris. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with it, and I hope you guys are liking the new commitments that we're making here to do better, and then we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.